Folks, what a beautiful day. It's December 15th, middle of December. 54 degrees in Southwest Michigan. That's a good and a bad thing. I want snow this time of year. If it was gonna be in the 50s all the time, that'd be great, but it won't be. Anyway, beautiful day. Actually, ironically, the lawn guys came here to blow leaves today. Same day we were using this. But we took care of some leaves down by the front entrance there. Use it on a path to keep, get everything cleared off of there as well. Show you this sweet U-mount. We gave you a, a sneak peek at it in action. We showed you how we put it together and everything else. We use it on the three-point hitch, um, but it's a two a two-inch receiver mount. All right, but you can get it with all sorts of mounts. You can mount this on a zero-turn mower. Tons of different brackets on a UTV and ATV. It doesn't mount like on a three-point hitch itself. You have the two-inch receiver there, and we're using our VersaForks this time around. Mounted it right to the front end loader in the VersaForks. We could have used our JU Fabworks uh, Work Boss there too. We're probably technically a, a, you know, maybe a foot too short on cable. You gotta lean forward just a hair from the operator seat to reach the controls. They do have extensions. I talked to them about those. They have extensions that you can buy to lengthen that out if you want to. Um, it honestly wasn't that big of a deal for me, but you could make it a little bit longer if you wanted to go that route as well. This thing is a beast. I don't know if you can tell. Chris, could you, was it, did it seem like when you were filming that it was just blowing the snot out of things? It was really fun when you got a lot of these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, as powerful as the biggest steel blower that I've, well, I bought the biggest one they had, and it's plenty powerful compared to that too. So pretty nice to be able to sit on your operator station and do this too. Um, easy control. You can adjust the chute. Watch this. Does it, it's, it's a it's built-in feature, right? So if you're in parking lots and you whack a curb or if you hit a stump that's in your lawn, this breaks free, it's a magnet on there. It doesn't break the whole thing off. Really cool design. See how you put this back on, I can't remember, it all lines, yeah. The lines right back up in there. Nice built-in feature. Two person lift this thing up though, you know, one either side. Uh, a nice mount there for it. I do think I like it being on the front of the machine better than on the back. You don't have to turn around and look behind you. You might still drive backwards. I was still driving backwards with this, but that's only a fraction of the time compared to having to look behind you all the time. I actually didn't knock this off a single time. I saw it hit the ground several times, but it didn't knock it off. Um, I was kind of hoping to show you that while we were blowing, but I was also happy it didn't happen. I didn't want it to hop off the tractor and put it back on. So anyway, um, self-powered Kohler on here, 14 horsepower. They have a seven horsepower as well. Got the fuel shut off. I'll turn that back off right now. It has a choke on there, electric start. You can kill it from your control box up here. You can adjust the chute and you can adjust the throttle all from that uh, same spot. I actually wanna try this out when it snows as well. If we have just like a couple of inches of snow, take this down the driveway and see if we can clear it off that way as well. I would think it would work. I remember back years ago, we had a neighbor who anytime it snowed, you'd hear that leaf blower going, <laughs> you know, like at 5 a.m., something like that should be out there blowing, using a backpack blower, blowing her driveway clear. It was kind of funny. Uh, first time I'd ever actually seen anybody blow snow with a leaf blower. So, but um, we'll give that a shot this winter. So you mount this on whatever machine you want. That's the point I'm trying to make. All sorts of mounts available for it. This is a, if you got a small, tiny little lot, this isn't the tool for you. It's a, it's a pricey bugger. You can get the seven horsepower if you want. I went big, I got the 14 horsepower. I just, that's the way I do things, but uh, I think you do this every fall, if you can handle it in the winter too, if you have a big parking lot, a lot of different applications that are bigger settings where this is gonna be valuable. I think it sells itself for the right person. It is made in America as well, so that's a big bonus too. Made super, super easy work of clearing those trails. I mean, literally just a down and back pass. That was all it took. It really doesn't get any easier than that. I mean, not just the, the leaves, but there was sticks, nuts, all that kind of stuff on there too. Just blew the everything right out of the way. So anyway, go to goodworkstractors.com if you want to get one of these. We sell and ship nationwide. Whether you're looking for one of these blowers, set of VersaForks, okay? These come with the pallet forks too. Loader and the three-point, only ones on the market. Loader and three-point, two-inch receiver, chain hooks, gooseneck mover, you name it. Goodworkstractors.com. If you're not sure what to get, send us an email, get us your tractor make and your model, maybe the project you have going on or the tool that you're interested in. We'll get you set up with the right size, the right quick attach if needed. Make sure you're good to go the first time around. 
I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.